Hi, I'm Micah Mullen. Welcome to another one of my free art lessons. Today we're going to talk about glazing. And what glazing is, is painting a thin, transparent layer of paint over another color of paint. Uh, it provides a thin layer of film where the underpainting or other layer of paint shines through through the glazing. And what we're going to look at today is a, is a creek bed, a very abstract creek bed. I'm an abstract artist. I like to paint abstract landscapes. But what you're going to see here is I'm going to put some glazes over here and you're going to see all this multitude of colors climb, uh, shine through the glaze and create what looks like a water surface. So let's get started. Uh, earlier I mixed a couple of, of, of other glazes of Matisse Flow Acrylics with, in combination with Liquitex Glazing Medium. And it's about a 20% ratio of color to medium. And I use Transparent Umber and I use Matisse Australian Sienna. And the third color I'm going to use is uh, Matisse Australian Sap Green in the flow color. So what I'll just do is I'll put a little dab of paint in my uh, acrylamizer palette, palette here. And put about 70, 70 to 80% medium in there. Take a nice soft brush. Mix it up thoroughly so you don't see any of the medium shining through. And you'll see it, you'll start to see this color really shine and pop through. And we're going to glaze over just about every aspect of this painting. Okay, we'll clean this brush off a little bit. Okay. All right, now when you glaze, it's very important that you take the painting and go to a flat surface. Uh, glazing is a very fluid type of media. So what happens, what would happen if on the easel is it would just generally drip all over the place. So what you want to do is always work on a flat surface. And when I glaze, I generally use three, sometimes four, four. If I get really nuts, I go five colors. But uh, what I'm going to try first is the transparent umber on this. And we'll see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So we'll use the transparent umber to start with. These gray areas here are supposed to be rocks popping out of the water, but I'm not going to worry too much if the glaze catches a little bit of those. And you can already see that it's creating this sh sort of shimmering effect in this film over the, uh, the colors, colors in the background, which is looking pretty good. So we'll get a, probably about a third of it in this color, then we'll try some of the Australian Sienna. Okay, let's go ahead and try some of the Australian Sienna now on this other side of the canvas. This is a nice color by Matisse, very transparent, very good for glazing. A little bit lighter than the transparent umber, so adds a little bit different effect. A little bit of the rock there, but that's okay. All right, and then for the top part here, we're going to use some of the Australian Sap Green.
over the whole thing. Let's try just mixing a little bit of this. And uh, that looks pretty good. What you have now is a shimmering effect. A little later what I'll do is I'll create some white lines and some black lines to create some ripple effects on this. And it'll look much more like an actual creek bed rather than just a, a non-dimensional series of colors. So I'm Micah Mullen. Uh, check out my website, micahmullen.com, and look for me on more free art lessons and my DVD. Thanks a lot.